CataractCoach.com. Post your polar case with Zoner Loss. How would you approach this very challenging surgery? Let's watch. So there's the posterior polar cataract. You can see definitely posterior polar has that very characteristic look. Now starting the case here is the main incision being made. And our guest surgeon is a very experienced surgeon. So let's watch what happens. Tripan blue dye going in. Here's our viscoelastic. And of course, a good rex is important. As you know, with posterior polar cases, you've got to be very careful. The posterior capsule can be weak, fragile, or even frankly absent at the site of that opacity. Studies by Osher and Vasavita have shown that about a 30% capsule breakage rate. We have advanced over the years and now can have a lower rate than that by avoiding hydrodissection and instead doing viscodissection or other types of techniques. As you know, on cataractcoach.com on the website, we have a whole section on posterior polar cataract cases, plenty of videos to learn from. There's a beautiful looking rexus. Here we go. Now, using just a hook or a chopper, to get under that cap. So let's see, to maybe dissect it away. And so let's take a look here. Now this is a technique that can be done to help loosen it up, okay. And now it looks like a phago probe's in the eye. The uh, surgeon who submitted the video did the editing here. So forgive uh, any choppiness here. There's the chopper going around again. I like that the infusion's inside the eye. Just gotta be very careful here. So now doing a mechanical dissection, pulling the cataract material away from the capsule and we've seen other surgeons do this as well not my preferred technique but it can certainly be done and now chopper being placed there where's that chopper going exactly um okay maybe trying to chop not a real dense cataract i'd rather get it out of the bag here at this point and there we go lifting it up lift that's a good that's some progress so lifting the lens out of the capsule bag and now taking it down Nice and easy. And as this thing comes down, you know, you got to be very careful watching again that posterior capsule. Now, luckily here, it looks like the opacity has come up with the rest of that lens material. And so nice and easy, bringing that up. And again, here, you may want to put some dispersive viscoelastic behind that lens material. Slow down your settings here on the machine. Nice and easy. And let's see, bringing that last piece up. When are we going to see that zonular weakness? Now, you could have induced the zonular weakness uh, as you were placing the hook around with that chopper to help dissect things. But so far, it looks pretty reasonable. And so again, taking out the lens cortex here. If you do see any smudgy or opacity stuff on that poster capsule, I would leave it be. I don't want to touch the poster capsule in the least. Also, right here at this time, I would not let the AC collapse. So when you take this last piece of cortex out, with your other non-dominant hand, get that viscoelastic and fill the capsule bag to avoid collapsing the capsule bag. Because sometimes in these posterior polar cases, if you collapse the bag, that could be enough force to actually rip the posterior capsule open if there's a pre-existing weakness or defect there. So again, a little bit of sub-incisional material here. Oh, coming out. Now you see, there's the capsule. Um, zonular loss there. You see the capsule is collapsed. Oh, now you've got a big area of zonular loss. Viscoelastic is a good move. Get that back in there. Hopefully the anterior hyaluronic base is intact. You're not going to have any issues there with vitreous prolapse. But now what are you going to do? What are your thoughts? Well, you could just put a single piece lens in, but it would probably not do well. I like the idea of a CTR, a capsule tension ring. That goes in very nicely. This is being manually inserted. If you didn't have a CTR, you could also put a three-piece lens in the bag with the haptics angulated towards the area of zonal weakness to push out and kind of bolster that area. But I do like the idea here of placing a CTR, a capsule tension ring. That's a very good choice. And three-piece lens as well. So that three-piece lens going inside. Let's get that uh, lens in. There's the 7L rule. First haptic looks like, like a number seven. Trailing haptic looks like the capital letter L. Get that pushed inside into the capsule bag. And that looks pretty stable. End of the case now, finishing this up. Very nicely managed. So yeah, keep in mind, posterior polar cases are tricky. Again, my preferred technique is hydrodelineation, no hydrodissection, and then using a dispersive viscoelastic to perform viscodissection. And then again, not letting the AC collapse at the end of the case, not letting the bag collapse, and you can finish the case quite nicely. This looks like a beautiful outcome. Thanks for watching.